Uh, thanks, Mr. Arunathri. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure being here in front of such an august audience. Uh, again, sir, the correction is that we also do solar. And uh, in fact, this year, we might do solar more than the wind. Coming to the topic, I think the things that the government did right and uh, which has really helped the entire renewable sector, both wind and solar, are one is obviously, as uh, Mr. Kemal also mentioned, that the target that the government has said has, had set is unprecedented. 175 gigawatt of renewables by 2022 is a very impressive target. And to add to it, recently government has also changed the RPO target. 17% RPO by FY19, again is a very, uh, I would say not ambitious, but a very good target to, for the industry to work on. And it doesn't stop there. I think what government also is doing is to make sure that we reach there. So it's focusing on implementation. Uh, one of the things which was pointed out in the earlier session is that they are creating funds. So the carbon says, as we all know, has been moving, uh, has been doubling every year for the last two years. Uh, so sufficient fund has been generated to fund or to make renewables more viable. On top of that, if you see the number of bits which government of India is releasing. <coughs> in some of the months, almost more than one gigawatt of bits has been released in solar. Uh, but on an average, uh, yeah, so people say that maybe 8,000, 9,000 megawatts of bid in a year is, is what government of India in solar is releasing, which is again a very good step for the industry. So coming to the other thing which government of India is doing well, it is managing the entire uh, procurement process. Particularly in solar, if you see, you see the whole process of solar procurement bid, it's very transparently being managed. The documents are now standardized. After winning a bid, uh, the PPA happens on time. And lot many other implementation steps that Government of India has taken, like setting up solar parks. So, so I think the, the other thing which Government of India is doing well is really doing the procurement process well. And the proof of this is, if you see the people who are participating in this procurement, EDF, GDF, Fortum, Anal, you name any big utility, they are participating in the solar tenders. Again, the good initiative is that the same is getting replicated in wind. We are soon going to uh, see the wind tender also out for procuring 1,000 megawatts. So the whole process of doing bits transparently is really helping the industry. Uh, then obviously the two, three other things which Government of India has really done well, the Uday scheme, though the results is yet to be uh, seen, but everybody knows that it's a very big initiative to improve the financials of the discoms. Then the grid availability, the whole industry was complaining about the grid availability issue. Soon we see one or two steps taken by MNRE one is that they have written, at least the solar GS has written to the CRC and asking them to con convey it in turn to the various SERCs to take it seriously. Uh, then what further can be done? I think the challenge now is that the entire renewable, particularly solar and wind, has come at the grid parity. So, and it is going to come, the prices or tariffs are going to come down over the next five years, particularly in solar. I personally believe that in the next five years, this four and a half tariff, four and a half rupees tariff can also come down to half of it. So there's no challenge left in terms of marketability or, or I would say the competitiveness of solar and wind versus is conventional. The challenge is more of integration of renewables with the rest of the grid. And this is where the action is required from the government. And in the integration, if I break the integration, it is largely three things. The ancillary services market needs to be launched. The storage needs to be promoted. And obviously, the strengthening of SLDC is the most crucial step. The other thing is that the center has done a very good job in the procurement process. But there is lots to be done at the state government level. We still see, even after discovering the price competitively, state starting negotiations. We still see PPA getting signed after a year in Telangana, after this 2,000 megawatt procurement, and the same thing getting repeated in Jharkhand, where from last five months, people are waiting for signing PPAs. 
Then the last thing I would say, the whole implementation issues, the RPO, net metering, all these policies are good. But it's really, uh, the central government has to, see, has to see whether it's really getting implemented at the state level. Thanks for the time. Thanks.